Pakito pick namin since wala tayong nakitang Pakito nung M2. So, yeah. With this, ano ngayon ang paon ng team ng LPE? Plus now, we're looking at the screens, ladies and gentlemen. The road to being legendary will start now. Of course, kay Riyota nga magaganap itong Pakito na to. Sabay, kuha pa ng alter ego. Rob Luna, can you talk to me about this hero? Alam ko, ginamit mo na to. Oo, eh, ginamit ko na to. Eh. Pero to be, to be honest with you, man, Jin, hindi pa enough yung, ano, yung uh, uh, learnings ko dito sa isang Pakito. May part dito that you have to combo, you have to work around. And kung masasabi ko dito, Esmeralda, in between Pakito, I would lean towards sa Pakito kasi mas sustainable siya dito in terms of laning phase. Uh -oh. Pero... Yeah, this is gonna be an additional tank then for uh, for them yeah. as well. Ito Esmeralda na to. It's gonna be having a hard time here on the top lane. Gusto ko na banggit mo yung Esmeralda kasi I think Esmeralda is also uh, one of the tier S mm -hmm. heroes na pwede mong gamitin. Bakit nga ba? Kasi kung iisipin mo, ang dali lang to market, ang taas na sustain, may movement speed, meron ka pang extra stun. So yeah, I think with the damage na meron si Ryota, especially na meron pa siyang extra uh, festival of blood sa kamay niya, makakapag-sustain siya ng tama. Pero as I say this, this is going to be the first attempt for Team World Challenger in the bottom side. Getting rid of Jake the Dog. Nice rotation para dito kay FY. Si oh. FY na pala naglalaro. Oh. Speaking of rotation, eh napauwi din dito ng ating Esperalda, yung ating uh, si Paquito. Wherein sabi ko kanina, mas, mas nakakalamang siya during early stages of the game. Uh -huh. Yung nga lang, eh mas uh, ahead dito yung Esperalda. So far, starting here in terms of rotation, look at the gold lead agad-agad. Wow. Agad. Wala wow. pang 2 minutes, already a thousand wow. lead agad. Naupos yung energy shield dito ni Jake the Dog on the bottom lane. Eh, masasabi lang natin dito, Kuya Menjin, pag itong Lancelot na to talagang nagsunod-sunod, regardless hindi sila masyado makakuha ng kill, is magiging mabilis talaga yung pag-farm dito or yung pag-ikot nito ni Chu. Yeah, lalo na nagkaroon pala ng extra gold dito si Chu. And yeah, onting background, uh, background lang, Rob Luna, uh -oh. Chu is part of... Uh, MPL Season 6 mm -hmm. Diba? Nung uh, I think that was Blue Fire But as I say this That is Circling Eagle Coming out of The Matilda Michael Jordan With the assist And now That will give Teamwork A 2-0 lead Para dito sa ating 2 minutes Ang ating laro Tapos meron pa silang Turtles So tama ka nga Rob Luna Nabibigyan na nabibigyan Ng farm Itong si Chu Para sa side in Teamwork Ito ako mahirap ngayon Dito sa side Kasi ng ano eh Ng LPE Especially dito kay Aspe Kasi diba YSS You actually need to be a Billy At the same time But as I say that Riota dito pinapasok ngayon ng dalawang members ngayon ng team we're going back to oh. Evangel so ang magiging mahirap ngayon dito in terms of the damage dito ng LPA they're gonna be only relying for now dito kay ARBS why? Kay Arbs. kasi hindi nag-group up agad ang work eh it's like they go uh, on a pick off then suddenly pagka merong mal malaking objective katulad kanina may turtle nag 5 man kagad sila and this is Working for them for the last uh, three minutes. Pero dito, sa gitna, look at how tanky yung basa na yan. Ang yeah. gagawin lang yan is to zone out dito ang mga members ng LPE from the back lanes. May kita mo kayo yung Esmeralda, tatalon. Yeah, the hiccups and mobility in the sustain. Fourth side, team works. Lambs up, coming in from the Esmeralda. Circling Eagle, parang ang Michael Jordan dito. Arbs comes in with the Curse of Eagle. Masyado na napalalim ang teamwork dito as the back will fall down. With, of course, the jab coming in from Kino. Meanwhile, nandito pa rin si na Arbs. Nice weather strike the on sa side to counter go as team LPE will even up the trade 1-1 one, one. yes you, ito, ito no yes 1-1 one, one yung naging ano nila don't trade mm -hmm. kailangan may damage ka kagad para makapag burst ka kasi kapag kunyari ma-explain ko lang no kapag naglalaro tayo lalo na uh -oh. uh, sa kaibigan nating batters kapag uh -oh. pinubuhat natin siya no parang kapag namamatay ako yung issue shield parang nawawalan ako ng damage eh. so medyo tumatagilid dito si Aspect. I'm sure marami ring nakaka-relate yan. Oo, oh, oh. relatable talaga yon in terms of YSS. Kasi the only thing that you would want as an YSS during the early stages of the game is going in. Kung baga, gusto mo lang mag-provide ng vision in terms of Mountain Shocker. Oh. As well, may assist na rin on the kills. Pero kasi, kung na-force ka na na sumama ka agad sa team fight, that's where, uh, at dun yung nagiging tricky eh. Oh, oh. Diba? Parang you wouldn't want to have your YSS. Hindi naman masama na, ma na masama ka kagad sa mga team fight. Pero ang, ang, ang risk kasi noon is yung pwede kang mamatay. Katulad ka dito kay Aspect twice na siyang nauhuli dito ng work pero somehow hindi pa natin nakikita dito yung Hayabusa ni Jake the Dog let's see kung paano gumalaw yung Hayabusa ni Jake the Dog as Team LPE will manage to take one in the top lane nice setup doon sa knock up na meron si Paquito 
nice pick. Onting pawe para sa LPE dito habang ang teamwork naman is looking for something in the bottom side. So, even ball game pa rin from Luna, but I guess hindi na because of course, teamwork. Parang sila nagdidikta ngayon ng tempo ng laban, Rob Luna. Bakit nga ba nangyari ito? Masyado bang OP ang Matilda? Kasi kung isipin mo, Matilda at saka Baksha, parang laging in control ng, ano, eh, ng laban. Eh. Oo, uh, in terms of rotation kasi, ang bilis ng mobility nila, eh, diba? uh -huh. giving the guiding win. Pero ito na, Kuya Manjin, look at this aspect na naman. Oh! Mukhang mapipick off na naman siya dito with that turners coming from Chu. Hindi enough dito. Hindi pa nagpipay off yung cheese pick dito ng LPE from uh, this Paquito. So ngayon, na-force sila ngayon dito, Manjini, into like a uh, single target. Ito kasing Paquito na to, parang, eh, ayan, papasukin siya ngayon dito. Uh -oh. And hindi enough ang sustainability dito ni Riyota. Yes, of course. Sabi ng teamwork dito, kayang-kaya naman namin upakan yung Paquito na yan. Pero sabi naman ni Arms, wait, wait a minute. I still have the better airstrike. The green spy wings pa siya dito. Pero yung mga tela ng Esmeralda, the sisters! Game to play, Matilda and Esmeralda taking down yet again. Arms in the top lane, and nako boy na boy parin. Dito ang Esmeralda in the top, and mukang it's going to be a tower down. Lamang ang teamwork, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good thing na dumating doon yung Esmeralda kasi nakakambak eh. Masyadong naging malalim na din yung mga members dito ng work. That's one of the reason bakit nahuli sila ng Imperial Justice dito ni Bimo. And from that of moment, tingin ko medyo nakahinga ng konti dito ang LPE since na-pick off nila doon si Chu. Pero yung, uh, yung, ano, yung aggression dito ng work, hindi pa rin humihinto eh. Ang maganda lang dito sa side ng LPE, at least meron silang farsa. Oh. Hindi sila bastang mapupush dito kasi meron naman tong feather airstrike. So madadrag yung game na to, well, let's say around mga 15 minutes or so, yeah. up until siguro the second lord, dahil lang dito sa farsa na to. Ngayon, ang magiging problema nila dito during the late game, Kuya Manjin, is that yung mga single target nila dito posible na maging ano eh malipat-lipat ma like for example the shadow kill dito ni, uh, ni Jake na to hindi pa natin nakikita yung enough damage kaso pag nagdikit-dikit kasi and nasustain oh. ng teamwork parang sa in the long run parang hindi na siya nag-make sense yeah kasi kumbaga yung lineup kasi talaga ng uh, teamwork is all about sustain at tabi-tabing pwersa sama-sama pwersa malayan Constantino hawak kamay kagaya niya na nakita nga natin nagtabi-tabi na sila and again, si Aspect ang naging victim. Teamwork, making the dream work. Rob Luna, at mukhang itutuloy pa nila. There you go, Guiding Wind coming in. Here comes the boy Sans. But uh, Bimo with the counter go of the strangling as, man, FY, na nasa ML na ngayon, the Baksha, really putting in a lot of damage para dito sa ating game. Nasa loob na ngayon ng teamwork as they will try to get the inner tower. And wow, LP on the defensive side and yes Rob Luna like what you've said nawawala na sila ng damage parang mawawala ng say say din tong ayabong sa pick kung iisipin mo oo oh, oh. and it's a good pick off then for work ah uh, medyo na out of position yata doon si Arv hindi niya inanticipate na tatalunan siya doon sa may base turret sa gitna pinick off siya kagad so ngayon ang mindset dito ng work was actually to take down itong farsa na to once it's available so kasi ito na lang talaga yung nag-hold eh in terms of uh, ano eh, parang yung pasugod na army dito ng work itong Farsa na lang ang humihinto Pero oh. mukhang hindi pa humihinto ngayon dito ang work Dahil si Bimo dito, manjing delikado Nako, kung si Farsa na lang ba ang titignan natin sa ating camera That's it, feather airstrike Tatamaan ngayon yung Baksha But the Baksha is still alive And nako, nabitan yung damage of course Ni Arms dito There you go The quad shadow The shadow kill, I mean Failing Dahil nagtabi-tabi ang work doon sa part na yon nako Rob Luna tumatagilid ang vapor ng LPE tagilid talaga yung vapor that is a glimpse kung ano ba ang mangyayari during the late game nakita mo yun it was only guiding wind ng isang Matilda look at the damage na pinakita doon ni Jake the Dog halos wala so ang mangyayari noon pag na-exhaust na, na lahat dito ng LPE yung kanilang mga ultimate is, uh, hindi, hindi na ano eh hindi na magiging enough eh. magiheal lang dito the rest of the work ngayon ganito sila ka-confident kunin yung Lord right off the bat like, alam nila walang point of contention dito ngayon ang LPE kasi hindi talaga sila capable as of the moment. At ang sinasabi dito ng teamwork, wala kaming pakialam kahit na may experience kayo. Sabi lang nila dito, Rob Luna, na sila ang better team in game number one leading this one. Kakaiba, no? Kasi teamwork, parang ito yung parang sinasabi nating new team curse lagi every mm -hmm. season. At mukhang sila nga tinitignan. Even the pro teams commenting teamwork at ngayon, pinuprove lang nila yon sa nakikita natin, dictating every team fight, yung alam nila kung paano laluruin yung lineup nila na makukunat. 
at nakakagulat to kasi bira natin tumakita sa LPE na Oo. natatalo. Yung ganito ano no, kakonvincing yung performance dito ng work na talagang uh -huh. to the point na isa lang yung nabasag dito ng LPE. Now, the Lord is marching onto the middle lane. Ginamit na nila dito yung mountain chakra. But look at how mag-zone out dito ang mga member ng team work. Here we go! Nasa loob na masyado ang team work dito. Let's see kung medyo maasim mo. Overextended ba ito? Mukhang hindi. Dahil of course, Chu coming in with the phantom execution. And now, Lord is at 7K. HP team work hoping to end this game number one early. There you go. What's gonna work? Teamwork. Hey, game number one. Ang lines ng laro dito ng teamwork. Kaya manjit. Ah, all through.